welcome to your first class um let's go ahead and see this the quote of this section in event an investment in knowledge pays the best interest so you're taking this time and investing in your knowledge is going to pay the best interest so here this first section is called thinking why did i name it thinking because i would argue when it comes to data science in some way shape or form you've already experienced data you just it's ubiquitous in terms of our our day and age and it's imperative that we kind of change the way we think about the world when it comes to data so that's what i'm after here you're going to experience data in all aspects of your life and it's going to be imperative that we have this framework on how to work with data okay so i'm i'm here to prepare you for this journey this journey through education that will provide so many opportunities for you to learn and i'm 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 ecstatic to be a part of the um the process of engaging your intellectual curiosity um in terms of data and the way data works in this world all right so let's continue on let's imagine let's imagine let's imagine if you get straight a's your parents will give you a car okay i'm pretty sure you know i don't know if you will get this car <laughs> but when you when when you see this car what comes to mind you know what what, what gets you um what, what are you thinking about Maybe the color, maybe the size of the wheel, the model, the make, the fact that it's small, right? So when it comes to this particular car, I would argue that it's an observation. Let's go a little bit deeper. Going a little bit deeper allows us to come up with this idea of data thinking. It's the process. It's 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 the process of thinking of an object and thinking of various pieces of information about that particular object or features regarding that object so you're looking at just one car you will think of various aspects such as again the wheels the little size the size of the car whether it's a convertible or not um, maybe even the mileage if you're buying the car used um <laughs> the color the cost <laughs> and maybe even how old the car might be okay so it's imperative that we acknowledge the context the context the reason why you bought the car the observation a car and the various features okay like the cost the age and so on and so forth so let's go into another example ah food <laughs> tracking our food uh, when it comes to tracking food i'm currently on a diet and so that's why i'm using this example i was on a diet i guess <laughs> so here i want to lose weight okay so that's my context so how do i create this ideal salad okay again it's an observation it's just one observation okay um and we'll, there's various features the type of greens i love kale right now the number of tomatoes i love tomatoes does it contain meat or not um the number of calories and again this 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 way of thinking about just one observation is imperative in terms of understanding what we can garner with or acquire from data okay so with that being the case we're going to we're going to shift to statistical thinking something that's a little bit different and requires something that's very very important okay so when it comes to statistical thinking watch this it requires us to gather a multiple or gather multiple observations and ideally those observations need to be random okay ideally that's the best case scenario okay this is not a stat class but i'm still going to mention how that's very important we need our observations observations to be random okay and the same still regarding those observations we're going to utilize information to make generalizations about all um or some of those observations okay so you notice again now i'm considering a group of cars rather than just one 
And let's go back to that buying a car example. Okay, the context and the features are still the same. I got sure days. Okay, um, let me get a. <laughs> I got sure days, and I want to buy a car. Okay, but I want to, you know, have these features: car, make, model, so on and so forth. Okay, but now with regard when it comes to these variables, um. I'm also interested in potential relationships, okay? Potential relationships such as the car ages, the, the car's age's impact on the actual cost of the car, right? One would argue the older the car, the least the 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 cheaper the car will be. So these kind of hypotheses, hap hypotheses are possible to make at this point. Hypotheses at this point. Hypotheses at this point. So with that being said, let's go to a question. Let's try a question, our first question. Okay. So come up with another potential relationship based on these features or maybe some other features that come to mind. Okay. Take a moment and do that. You can pause. You should pause the video and take a moment and do that. Okay. So what I came up with was... A car, the car size may have an impact on the car cost. Okay, the car size may have an impact on the actual car cost, which makes sense. Like a larger car, oh, potentially larger cars could have an impact on how much a car um, you to pay in a car, pay for a car. So that makes sense. So with that being said, let's talk about another concept when it comes to concepts when it comes to statistical thinking, and that is population and sample. Okay, so here we have this idea of a population and sample. Okay, so we have this entity that we're after. Okay, like um, United States um, citizens. Okay, United States citizens. Okay, um, those are all the individuals that we're trying to understand. Okay, um, and a sample would be just a small collection. Okay, the, the people, the U.S. citizens that live in Indiana. Okay, so population is a collection of elements that you're that you're interested in, while the sample is just um, a small subset of the population. Okay, what's interesting here is that ideally in statistics you would want a random sample, but when it comes to reality, most times your your samples are just not random. Sorry. Um, so with that being the case, let me give you some examples. Let's go through some examples. So here. A population could be all registered cars in Indiana. A straightforward sample could be registered cars parked in the Lucas Oil Stadium. That's the stadium for the Indianapolis Colts, in case you didn't know. Um, another population could be the Purdue students. Um, and then another sample would be um, a fresh freshman at Purdue taking History 101, last but not least. Registered voters in Indiana could be our, our population. And then registered voters within Hamilton, county would be our our sample what's really huge here is that you're thinking of what the sample would be you know you have this population of things that you're interested in but you have to conjure some type of way of collecting this information okay and our yeah how are you gonna get this information and it's not always straightforward so keep that in the back of your mind but let's go through an example okay so here you have buying a car revisited. This is a used dealership photo that I saw online in India, Indianapolis. <laughs> um, so let's go through. Let's let's do a recap of all that we've experienced. So the context again is you you want to buy a car because you got straight A's. Okay, the ops the actual um observation right is going to be a car and then the population are going to be all cars in Indianapolis because you're getting straight A's and you're going to look for cars and you're getting straight A's in India, Indiana and you're going to look for a car in Indiana so you're, you're considering all cars in Indianapolis and to be um, more exact it should be a car for sale to be honest it should be a car for sale and then the sample could be the cars in the a lot of indie auto man used cars. You can Google that. That's a real place. Um, and it ideally, it should be a car for sale. Okay. And then we still can talk about the, the features. 
the model year mileage price condition these are some more these are other very other features that i came up with and then last but not least some features okay so here we can talk about the price and the mileage and do they actually have a relationship with one one another and the actual year of the manufacturer and actual condition so the ideally if the year that the actual car was made or manufactured um ideally the condition most likely is going to be a little bit worse and so those are kind of ideas that you should keep in the back of your mind okay so let's do another example real fast so example four the best song you know these artists who does i mean you may not know these artists but jaco drake and kendrick lamar what song is currently the best hip-hop song from the 2010s that's got our context again the observation is going to be a hip-hop song um yes and then all hip-hop songs ever made would be the situation at hand the population sorry the sample is going to be hip-hop songs made in the 2010s and then fe um, features could be artists the length of the song um has it been on the billboard charts or not is that's is is billboard um and then potential relationships could be the number of artists on that group song does it have an impact on the number of albums sold or does the length of the song have an impact on whether the song is on the billboard chart or not so these type of relationships are these hypotheses that we're trying that we want to be able to answer when it comes to when it comes to data okay so let's get in let's, let's try another question who's ready for a question okay Pause the video and answer this question. So in the following example, identify the sample population and come up with at least two features. The dean of the college is interested in the opinions of his students regarding classes offered in the college. He gives a survey to 200 students selected at random from his college. Fortunate, he, he did a random sample, that's good. Um, here, I would say that the sample is going to be the 200 students um within that college the population is going to be all students within the college and last but not least some features could be their major maybe um what did i say so 200 students like it's that's good all students within the college just needs to be students within the college okay all students within the college um and then the number of ap courses a student took and whether they are satisfied with the classes offered or not. So those are variables, I mean, features that you can consider. The reason why I messed up on variables because you'll see why in a couple, couple videos. Um, with that being said, let's move on to a new concept. And that concept, last but not least of this section is um, called statistical questions, okay? And at the end of the day, when it comes to statistical questions, we already have been dealing with this. It's just, it's a little bit more, um, nuance so a statistical questions are questions that can be only answered by using data that varies and can be analyzed statistically speaking and so when it comes to these questions these questions require you to go out there and collect data collect a sample to be able to draw conclusions about you know the population at hand okay and so sometimes that most i've already mentioned this when it comes to samples you know they're going to be convenient whatever you have access to but ideally it's imperative that they're random okay so some examples of statistical questions could be what is the impact of drinking coffee before running a mile okay so we have the if the person drinks coffee or not and then um the time of running the mile Okay, what are some characteristics among, what characteristics are common among songs on, on billboard charts? So it could be the case of how long song is or the number of um, featured artists or things of that regard. And then last but not least, is there a difference in average um, price of purchase made by made via the Starbucks app compared to other payment um, methods? So some people may use Apple, Apple pay some people may use a starbucks app so they can get points so all these things um can be analyzed you at least thought about by way of as a statistical question because they require you to actually collect data um that varies from sample to sample okay so with that being the case um let's do a question actually let's try a couple questions go ahead and pause the video and try these questions all right, so I'm going to give you, so it says, give an example of a statistical question, okay? And so 
once you come up with a statistical question and what makes this a statistical question and not a regular question okay so let's see let's see here it says what is the impact of drinking coffee before running them out we already did that let's come up with one on, on the fly what's the impact of eating eggs before an exam all right what's the impact of eating eggs before an exam the reason why this is a statistical question because it requires me to conduct um, an experiment and figure out um still give some people eggs some people have some students not have eggs and see if having eggs will have an impact on the performance and so what's really important there is that you need i need to Get a sample i needed to collect some data in order for me to answer this question whereas if i were to say um did you um how'd you perform on the exam you would say 95. that's not a statistical question that's not a statistical question okay all right so with that being the case given the following statistical question identify the population and example of the sample and an example of an example that could be used. So you're going to come up with an example. How does the weight of a car affect its gas mileage? Um, and so here, see the population in this question would be all cars, right? An example, an example of a sample could be the selection of cars of different of different weights and makes that are being driven under the same conditions. So you, you don't have to be that specific, but you could have just said some cars within your local parking lot and then this data could be analyzed to see if there is a correlation um yeah this actually this data could be um analyzed to see if there's a correlation between the weight of the car and the gas mileage okay so that is it this was a long video but that's fine